Hi everyone, this is Shikimo, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make white noise sweeps and lifters in FL Studio. Sweeps are great for transitioning from section to section in your track and are used in a variety of other ways as well. I'm going to be showcasing how to create white noise sweeps, as well as some different ways you can modulate them in order to add your own flair or twist them to create your own sound. First, let's open the 3 oscillator synth. 3x OSC has a bunch of different waveforms to choose from, including the noise wave which we'll be using for this sound. Turn all three oscillators to the noise waveform. It should sound like this. Next, assign the synth to channel 1 on your mixer and close out. Open up the piano roll and drop any note in there that you want, stretching to two full bars. Close out of the piano roll, select the pattern you just made, and add it to the playlist. Now that we have the basic form of the white noise, we can begin to modulate it. A lot of different effects can be used to modulate white noise sweeps. Side chaining, free filters, reverb, delays, equalizers, and phasers are just a few of your options. I'll demonstrate how I usually go about making my sweeps. I start by adding some filters. Usually one or two will do the trick, but I've used as many as three or four on some sweeps. It just depends on the sound you're going for. In this example, I'll use two, a low pass and a high pass. I'll be covering filters in FL Studio in another video, so if you're confused on how they work, don't worry about it for now. Next, I like to sidechain my sweep. There are a couple of different ways I sidechain my sounds, depending on how heavy I like the effect to be, as well as the timing of it. For this example, I'll be using a free VST called TAL Filter 2. It's an awesome VST that you can use to shape any modulation you make, and it's perfect for sidechaining. I'll link the download for TAL in the description. Once I have those two in place, all that's really left is some mixing work. I'll throw in a parametric equalizer 2 on the mixer channel, and cut out the low end frequencies while adding a little to the high end. I also do use the sound goodizer from time to time, as it can bring out a lot of extra dynamics and color to the noise. I wouldn't recommend relying on it though. It doesn't fix any EQ issues and only enhances your sounds. It's a good tool, but not for every occasion. Let's automate the volume of the noise and hear what the finished sweep sounds like. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments about anything, let me know below and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more tutorials and music. Thanks for watching.